Hello everyone, welcome back to Fly Tying at Home and uh, do you know where I am? I'm Fly Tying at Home, so uh, I'm the right place and you are as well. This is uh, Troels Nielsen from Denmark doing another video for uh, A. Jensen's uh, YouTube channel and today I will be doing a, a shrimp pattern and uh, shrimps have been my favorite weapon in, uh, in finding and also uh, um, succeeding in sea trout fishing along the Danish coastline. So. Uh, Today I will tie a very simple shrimp for you. It's also a, a very, very, um, I would say, not a budget shrimp, but uh, I think it only contains uh, five or six elements besides the hook and, uh, and the weighted part. So uh, I will just uh, show you my shrimp here. All right, oh, that sounded wrong, but I guess you know what I mean. So my shrimp in terms of this fly, right. So, I think we're ready. All right, I actually uh, can uh, recommend this already because my last trip, a few weeks back in the belly boat along the shores of Stones, known for big sea trout, I didn't find them, but I did find a lot of sea trout. And on this fly, I already caught two nice sea trout. So basically, I already uh, weighted the hook so you don't have to watch that. I'm gonna take a little bit of a uh, mallet here and a bit of dubbing to build the, the head or the mouthpiece of the fly. And this is normally how I do all my flies. And, and this is where I do something that's either a success or look frowned upon. I put in some colors that are definitely not shrimp colors. It's a, it's a very aggressive <laughs> pink mixed with a little bit of yellow, green and, and some, some white pearl dubbing from A. Jensen. It's also a uh, super super <laughs> fluorescence so it, it will shine in the dark. So it's uh, definitely a pattern for these colder months uh, which we are approaching slowly. It's actually December but it doesn't really feel like it already. It's more like a, a cold cold fall day. Alright so now I put in a little bit of the mallet, all right, it is enough. And then I want to to build a little bit more of these dubbing materials in, and I'm taking some uh, see-through dubbing in a definitely a, a more uh, neutral color grade. And I want to make it a little bit long, so it kind of builds up the head here. All right. Don't want the rest of this. Not for now at least. Alright. And now I will show you a small trick. It's uh, it's almost cheating. So I will be uh, using this material here. EP fibers. And this is uh, the uh, shrimp dubbing in, uh, in white. I mean white as in the broad. That is the color white. And this is more like a sand color. So buy some of these. I think there are small like I don't know, seven, six of these strings in here of a uh, dubbing or I mean it's it's almost like a chenille thread, right? But if you just put on this, it's way too much material. So what I do is I cut off one side or one half, so I only have the uh, the the metal string left and one side of, of material because this fly doesn't need to be overdressed and when I say overdressed I think most of you know what I'm talking about but it means that it, the volume of the fly would be too much, too great and doesn't look as transparent in the water and I really love when I can give a, a fly a transparent color or at least a look, sorry. So if I combine this transparency or <laughs> translucence with a little bit of uh, more visible color on the inner part then it kind of uh, gives a great great effect and combination so now I'm putting in like a very aggressive orange belly on this fly so it doesn't be too it doesn't need to be very thick or anything 
just needs to follow the hook here and yeah pretty much that's it i'm going backwards now because i'm gonna build up a little bit more of this panel material before i'm doing all this uh, ep fibers because the shrimp has two very distinctive things just at the head and you already guessed what it is eyes of course so i have these uh, two fluorescent orange eyes because it is a winter shrimp and it's going to be very very visible not just for me but also for the sea trout and whether or not these colors are out there in the real world and the fish is hunting pink orange or even red stuff out there i don't think so but there is another thing very very distinctive about winter we have less light and i believe that these aggressive colors are maybe uh, only important in terms of visibility rather than being something that the trout is looking for all right so i think i'm gonna save this in a second all right so I put in one shrimp by here i just need the other one over here i like to uh, to put the, the shrimp bites fairly far from the hook point because there's a lot of materials which is going to be pulled backwards and not to cover the uh, the eyes entirely I like to uh, to place them sorry around here and not at the at the hook point or the bend of the hook up here all right So now we're ready and I will just twist this, the EP fibers, so now we can dress the fly probably and you want to, to move the materials backwards, of course you will brush this fly later on so it will happen eventually but it's not bad to help the materials either. Okay. So pretty much sorry let's see I moved my fly a bit pretty much that's it and now you have a pretty pretty nice looking shrimp here already and I haven't even brushed the fly yet and if you want to uh, to sculpture the fly a little bit you can always use a scissor and do that perfectly fine oh, crap sorry so I'm gonna brush it a little bit. that you can start to see the effect of uh, putting in the orange color and of course you can use a, a dark green a brown a red if you want to a purple and it will all be the same effect I mean if you if you choose this uh, EP fiber in the tan color or sand color of course or in white you can also choose a very dark color so uh, pretty much this is the shrimp sometimes I just uh, pull out the eyes just for for the sake of mine I think that the 
fluorescent orange is going to be very visible anyhow but uh, this is a nice nice little sea trout snack and uh, yeah I know with the talking and the preparation it took 10 minutes but to be honest if I wasn't talking it would take 5 minutes so that's 20 flies an hour and then you're good to go at least for uh, the beginning of the season I guess and you can choose different colors so uh, have fun and thank you for watching see you next time Bye.